Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to ad hoc tutorials video channel. Uh, in this ad hoc tutorial, I will show you how to fix I.O. error. The network adapter could not establish the connection uh, when trying to connect to Oracle database. So it's the common problem that after the fresh, in fresh installation of the Oracle database, uh, it's possible to connect locally, everything is working. But uh, whenever we try to connect, to connect from the other client in local network, uh, it returns uh, this error. Uh, so uh, let's start. Uh, by the way, uh, you may check the original article uh, in this URL in my website at hocktutes.com. Uh, here is my Oracle server. Let me show you that I am able to connect to it locally. As you can see, it's working. My Oracle version is 12, 12.2. Uh, now, uh, if I open SQL Developer from my local PC, from the client PC, this is my connection. Let me show the details of the connection. This is the IP address of the Oracle server. This is the port. This is the seed name. So this is username and password. If I click the test button, well, it returns this error. What you need to do to fix this error? First, of course, you need uh, to check the firewall or any network related issues. Uh, maybe you can't even reach the server. You may ping it, for example, in my case. As you can see, my server is reachable from my PC, from my client PC. If the firewall and network related issues are okay, uh, it's important that you check if there is at least one Oracle listener service is available and running. Uh, uh, if no, uh, if there is no any listener, uh, you may use the Oracle Net Configuration Assistant tool to add to add the new listener. Let's open my Oracle server. Let's go to services. There should be something like Oracle. Here it is. As you can see, here is the Oracle listener. Uh, the service name should contain the keyword listener. If you, you, if you cannot find such service, uh, you may use the net, net configuration assistant tool provided by Oracle. As you can see, there is an option to configure new, new listener. I won't go through this process because I, I, I already have the listener. Cancel. And as you can see, my listener is running. If uh, the first two points are OK, uh, most probably uh, you have the problems with the listener configuration. To change the listener configuration, uh, you may use the Oracle Net Manager tool provided by Oracle, or uh, you may manually edit this file. This file contains the listener configurations. Oracle Home is the path to the Oracle Home directory. Let's open my Oracle server. Uh, first, I'll use the uh, Oracle Net Manager tool. Let's open it. Let's see. 
let's find the list of listeners as you can see I currently I have only single listener let's okay uh, the two main configurations uh, that are important uh, are listening locations and database services here are here are the listening locations currently I have only one listening uh, uh, one listening location associated with this listener and uh, it listens on the host local host on the port 1521 this is the standard port and uh, the database services I have only one database service registered here and the seed is Oracle uh, this is the path to Oracle home let's go back to listening locations the problem uh, arises when the host name you provide in connection string in my case the IP address provided here is this one this is the IP address of the server uh, but if I go to back to the listener configuration, it listens to the host local host. The key point here is that this host should exactly match the host name here. Let's add one more location here. I'll indicate this IP address. And port. 1521 let's save the listener configuration and of course we need to restart the listener service well now uh, if we click the test button as you can see it returns success and it's working uh, let's also try uh, to check if host name is working. Let's add one more listening location with the host name 1521. Let's save the configuration, restart the listener service. Let's copy this value. Well, it's not working. Uh, the problem is that the, this host name uh, is not reachable from my uh, client PC because I do not have uh, DNS services available and uh, my client PC cannot resolve this host name to the corresponding IP address. If I ping this, as you can see it says that host is unreachable we may temporarily solve this issue using hosts file so let's open it Let's run this command to open the host file. We need an administrative privilege to edit this host file. Let's point this host name. To this IP address. Let's save the file. Now let's try to ping it. It's resolving to the IP address. Now if we open SQL Developer from the client PC and click the test button, it's working, status is success. Uh, additionally, uh, let me show the listener file, listener configuration file. This file usually located at the Oracle home network and admin folder. This is the configuration file associated with the listener. Let's open it. 
as you can see here is the list of the listening locations and here is the list of database services associated with the listener you may edit this file manually save it and then uh, restart the listener also uh, you need to assure that the seed name in the database services oracle in my orcl in my case the same seed name is used here well uh, that's the end of the tutorial i hope uh, the tutorial was useful for you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah